Hey everyone, today we're going to cover the most common protective devices you'll see in vehicles, such as fuses, fuse links, maxi fuses, and circuit breakers. Automotive circuits are essential for all electrical functions, but they need protection. If there's a short or overload, wires can heat up, melt insulation, and possibly cause a fire. That's where protective devices like fuses and circuit breakers come in. There are three basic types of fuses used in vehicles, cartridge, blade, and ceramic fuses. Older domestic vehicles often use cartridge fuses. These are simple, just a metal strip inside a glass or plastic tube that melts when current is too high. Many newer vehicles use blade or spade fuses, and European imports might use ceramic fuses. How fuses are rated. Fuses are rated by their current limits, the point where they'll blow. They also have codes to identify size and type. Fuse codes ATC, ATO, SFE, GBF, GBC. Blade fuses often have ATC or ATO codes, while ceramic fuses use codes like GBF and GBC. These codes tell you the fuse's size and how much current it can handle. You'll also notice that blade fuses are color-coded by amperage, making it easier to tell them apart. Standard blade, mini, and maxi fuses are common types in vehicles today. The mini fuse is widely used, ranging from 5 to 30 amps. For higher current, maxi fuses, which replace fusible link cables, can go up to 100 amps. Fuse locations in your car. Most cars have a fuse box located under the dashboard, behind a footwall panel, or in the engine compartment. Each fuse is usually numbered, with abbreviations or symbols to show which component it protects. Your car's manual will provide a detailed guide for each fuse. If you ever need to replace a fuse, remember to match it with one that has the same amperage rating and color code. Fusible link. Fusible links are used when maximum current limitation isn't super critical. Fusible links are often installed in the positive battery lead to circuits that always have power, like the ignition switch. You'll usually find them in the engine compartment near the battery. Fusible links are a smaller gauge of wire installed in the main conductor. When too much current flows, this smaller wire heats up, melts, and breaks the circuit, protecting the main wiring. The special insulation on fuse links even bubbles up to show when it's melted. Maxi fuses. Maxi fuses are larger fuses often replace fusible links in modern vehicles. They're bigger blade-style fuses, rated for high currents, and they're easy to replace since they're usually found in a separate underhood fuse block. With maxi fuses, the vehicle's electrical system can be divided into smaller, more manageable circuits. This is helpful because it means if there's an issue, only part of the system goes down, making troubleshooting much easier. Circuit breakers. Some circuits are protected by circuit breakers, which are often labeled CB in your fuse chart. Circuit breakers come in two types, cycling and non-cycling. Inside a circuit breaker is a bimetal arm made of two metals. When too much current flows, the arm heats up and bends, opening the circuit. In cycling breakers, the arm cools and resets, allowing current to flow again. If the overload persists, this cycle repeats. Non-cycling breakers, on the other hand, stay open until reset. Some types reset automatically by cutting power, while others have a reset button you press to restore the circuit.